are you on now? Which side are you on? A year ago, Sunrise Movement activists protested outside the Democratic National Committee demanding that the DNC stop taking fossil fuel money, a uh, request that they promptly uh, rejected. About six months later, they burst onto the national scene by occupying the offices of Nancy Pelosi along with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and catapulting the Green New Deal and climate into the national conversation. Uh, they're back again today trying to occupy the DNC headquarters, demanding a climate debate. The doors have been locked. They haven't been able to get in. There are police officers here on the street, but they've told them that they're not uh, going to arrest them as long as they're only standing here on the sidewalk. They're going to be here for, for some time, uh, continuing to make their demand. PA Soil Refinery is the largest of its kind on the East Coast. And on Friday morning at about 4 a.m., it exploded. It's located just right on top of this really densely populated residential working class community of color in Southwest Philly. <laughs> I was just sitting there and I was thinking about, about all those homes filled with families just like mine with, with, <laughs> with kids just like me. And, and we, were, we were really lucky. Um, it, it, was the, it, was, it was the second time that it had exploded this month. Um, but, but nobody was hurt, nobody was killed. There are tons of toxic chemicals in the PS oil refinery and none of them were released. Um, we were so lucky. Um, but I was sitting here and I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, what about next time? What about next time the PES oil refinery explodes? What about next time one of the fossil fuel projects, the gas plants, the refineries in Philadelphia explodes or releases some of those toxic chemicals into the air? Are we gonna are we gonna be so lucky again? I was here just last summer um, at the DNC, right where we're standing now, and I told them, I told them about the PES oil refinery. And I told them about the fossil fuel CEOs who are poisoning my community. I told them about the kids in Philadelphia public schools who are dying of asthma attacks caused by that refinery. And I asked the DNC for the bare minimum. I said, <laughs> stop taking campaign contributions from those CEOs. And the candidate who wins, the candidate who's going to hold the most powerful office in the world, they're going to decide. They're going to make a choice. You know, will they will they stand with the PES oil refinery? Will they say, yeah, fossil fuel projects like this, this is okay? Or will they let them keep poisoning my community and killing children in Philadelphia? Or will they say, no, enough is enough, and rise to the scale of what science and justice demand, and pass a Green New Deal so that no matter your zip code or the color of your skin, you have access to clean air and a livable future.